After years of economic uncertainty, it appears that Sri Lanka is finally set to have a big relief. A government source has disclosed to the media that Sri Lanka has received a letter of a debt restructuring agreement with creditor nations. Despite this, the official creditor committee has yet to dispatch a confirmation letter. Facing its worst financial crisis in decades, Sri Lanka grappled with the restructuring negotiations since last year, compelled to default on foreign debt in May 2022 as foreign reserves hit record lows. The anonymous source stated Sri Lanka has been informed of an agreement, emphasizing it is confirmed that an agreement has been reached with bilateral lenders, but we are still waiting on an official letter. We expect it soon. Despite attempts to seek comments, the Sri Lanka's President's Office and Finance Ministry did not immediately respond. Reportedly, Japan, in collaboration with France and India, co-chairs the Official Creditors Committee. It is highly likely that these three nations will also oversee debt restructuring, while China, as Sri Lanka's primary bilateral creditor, will participate as an observer. China refrains from formal membership within the group. About a month after securing a deal with the Export-Import Bank of China EXIM to settle approximately $4.2 million in debt, after a month about securing a deal with Export-Import Bank of China to settle approximately $4.2 billion in debt, Sri Lanka has reached an agreement with creditor nations. The EXIM arrangement was pivotal for Sri Lanka to pass the initial review of an international monetary fund bailout, paving the way for second IMF funding installment of approximately $334 million, according to the Finance Ministry. Following IMF's endorsement, Sri Lanka may finally receive additional funds from the Asian Development Bank and the World Bank potentially totaling around $900 million, as slated by the Central Bank Governor P. Nandalal Veer Singhe last week. Sri Lanka's Finance Ministry recently released data on estimating the country's total external debt to be a staggering $36.6 billion, of which $10.94 is bilateral debt. A deal must be reached with the bondholders who own the majority of Ireland's $12.5 billion in foreign sovereign bonds.